Hi, in this video we are going to see about the white box testing levels. In the previous video we have seen what are all the different types of uh, testings we are going to do. I mean uh, what are all the different ways we can test it, different teams are going to involve in it, static testing, white box testing, black box testing, gray box testing. As I told you white box testing is done by the development team before they are going to hand over it to the testing team. So the development team also do some sort of testing through code level, everything is working fine or not. If something is not working, they are going to fix it and they are going to give it to the testing team for end to end testing. That way, how the development people are going to do the testing? That is what we are going to see, what are all the different levels of testings the development team will perform on our application before they are going to hand over it to the testing team. White box testings usually they will do two types of testings, unit testing and technical integration level testing. You, first one is unit testing. Unit testing is something like every piece of code they are going to test it, whether it is working according to the requirement or not. And before going to discuss about these two type of testings, who will do the white box testing? The development team will do the white box testing. So we no need to aware of how they are doing their testing. This is just for your knowledge. How the development people are doing testing, this is just for your knowledge. How they are doing the testing. So in order to give just uh, information to you, I am covering this session. Usually white box will be done by the development people. They know how to perform the testing and all. Here two levels of testings like unit testing and technical integration level testing. First one is unit testing. Unit testing is something like they are going to write the code according to the requirement. Whatever the language it is, Java, .NET, C Sharp, whatever it is, whatever the programming language uh, preferred by the client or preferred by the project manager. In that programming language, they are going to write the number of programs, number of uh, lines of code. That code, the development people will verify each and every piece of code whether it is working according to the requirement or not. So they are going to do some sort of testing on each and every piece of code to confirm everything is working according to the requirement. That is something like unit testing. Second one is technical integration level testing. Here how the development people will integrate our application, will combine different modules or combine different features how they are going to perform on the testing. So there are three different approaches they are going to follow. Top down approach or bottom up approach or a hybrid approach. Any of the approach depends on their comfortability or depends suggested by the project manager or suggested by the client. These are all the modules preferably I need in the beginning. So based on all these things they are going to integrate the things. Coming to the first one top down approach how it will happen. In the top down approach, see this diagram. The top down approach, how they are going to perform is first they will develop the main parent module. Main parent module they are going to develop it. And then low level parent modules they are going to integrate. Last, the child modules they are going to develop and they are going to integrate with the uh, sub parents and sub parents are integrated with the parent. Like this, how they are doing integration part, combining part, that is a top down approach. That way of approach is top down. So here everything will be top to down. Top to down means, so first parent modules and then sub parent modules and then if any child parents will be there and then their last they are going to integrate with the child modules. Now you may get a doubt, sir which is a parent, which is a child and all. So that is the reason that will be decided by the project manager what to develop in the first what is parent. See if you will understand the requirements you will come to know. So for example let me take a Gmail. What is the main module first we need to develop? Login is the main module. Once login module is developed and then you can enter into it remaining functionalities may not require 100% completely. You can continue with your uh, testing. If login itself is not there how you will perform the testing? So, the parents and sub parents or childs will be decided by the based on the priority from the customer. 
So accordingly, they will develop the parent modules and then child modules and then sub parents and then child modules. So that is about the top down approach, how they are going to integrate the different modules, different features. Second one is a bottom up approach, same opposite to top down approach. It is op opposite to top down approach. First, they are going to develop the child modules. Those will be integrated with the sub parents. Those will be integrated with the parents. So based on the design of the project, the development lead or manager will decide how we need to integrate the features. Based on that, either it may be a top down or bottom up or hybrid. So fine, bottom up approach is something like first we are going to develop the chains and then those are integrating with the sub parents and then it is going to integrate with the parents. So these are all internal architectural design from testing end we no need to do these all testings and all how they integrated and all just for our knowledge how the development people are integrating the different modules just for our knowledge we, we are discussing about this video last one is a hybrid approach hybrid approach is something like mixing of top down and bottom up see finally i can say that based on convenient to the development team they may develop a parents they may develop a child whatever the way they want they can integrate it whatever the way they want they are going to integrate it either it may be a top down or bottom up that is something like hybrid approach you can see here first child child may integrate with parent or parent integrate with parent one and then they may develop a child and then they may develop a, again another parent so hybrid is something like based on the development team feasibility they may integrate whatever the order they want according to their design that is something like hybrid approach so these are all the three different approaches the development team is going to follow to integrate the different functionalities or features or modules so one is top down bottom up and hybrid approach next some of the interviews they're going to ask you question about what is tub and what is driver see you can see this uh, hybrid approach let me assume the child one is developed and parent main parent is developed but the sub parent is not developed assume the sub parent is not developed the child is developed and main parent is developed but they have given to the testing team boss test my child and my main parent but in middle sub parent is not developed is it possible to test that particular feature without integrating end to end in this case these two words stub and driver is going to coming into the picture yes though we don't have middle module yes we can able to test it how we can test it you may get a doubt here without developing the modules how we are going to test it there is no integration there is no data flows how we can test it so what the development people are going to do is they will develop some middle module with some temporary programs that is not a actual module for transferring the data from one module to other module in the middle they are going to develop some temporary programs for our testing purpose because the main parent of one is developed main parent is developed and child is developed middle module is not developed then they have given it for our testing we need to test that so some cases what happen in these scenarios they are going to develop a temporary modules in order to process the data from one module to the other module so now let me come back what is tub and what is driver these temporary programs whatever we are discussing in the top down approach we are calling as a stub these temporary programs these temporary programs in <coughs> sorry these temporary programs in bottom up approach we are calling as a driver sometimes 
in the real time we will observe these two words stub and driver because some modules they have developed but in the middle integration module is not developed then still we need to test those two modules without the middle module how we can do that that by using the stub and driver is correct <coughs> sorry so stub is something like in the top down approach these temporary programs we are calling as a stub bottom up approach these temporary programs we are calling as a driver you may get a doubt here are we going to involve in developing the stub and developing the driver how the integration and everything no we all are black box testers we no need of any programming knowledge for manual testing manual testing we no need of any programming language anything we all are black box testers it means that we are testing through gui graphical user interface of the application we no need of programming language and all okay for example we want to test a gmail gmail application do you know which language it is developed with we don't know but still we can able to test the gmail and google red bus abibus we can test it still we don't know what is the programming language they have used for developing those applications that is the reason for testing the application manual tester no need to have any programming language knowledge they can happily test their applications but why i covered white box testing levels just to make make you understand how they are going to integrate the application some interviews they may ask you they for example they ask coming to the interview questions part on this topic they may ask you what is white box testing what are all the different levels in white box how the development people will uh, do the unit testing how they will verify the uh, co combining the multiple modules how they are going to perform the integration testing before they are going to give it to the testing team what is stub what is driver in the interview they may ask you a question see some module is not developed and the parent and child is developed then how you are going to test it then you can say answer that my developers will develop a stub uh, to test the child and the parent modules temporary programs they are going to develop it and they will give it to me for testing then i will continue with my testing like that way you need to answer in the interviews and all similarly driver also in the bottom up approach we can call it as a driver so like this passion you need to answer in the interviews so i will try my level best to cover each and every question asked in the interviews i hope these videos will give most information based on these videos easily you can clear the interview i hope i am going to cover all the topics like this way i will try my level best to give best information to you please follow my videos and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos my channel thank you